Hello, everybody. Welcome back to some more St. Clair Saints action. My name is Jackson Fry Brown, joined alongside Nicholas Kermit Malosh, and we are back up in here in quarterfinals of the winner side of the bracket. This time we go around, we got St. Clair Green roster going against the University of Florida. This is going to be a good one here, and I am very excited to get this one started. Uh, one thing I really want to touch on, uh, University of Florida just upset McGill. Like, 4-0, 4-1 in a like, 2 nothing series. Like, wow. Yeah, every time we come up against McGill, it's a great matchup. Like, we paid, played them last week. That was close. Even though we did 3-0 them, mm -hmm. it was – the scoreline was close. It yeah. was all within one goal, two A 3 goals. did not represent the actual Absolutely series. Absolutely not. So, seeing UF 4-1 and 4-0 them, it's either they didn't show up or – so, uh, yeah, University like, of Florida is unbelievably good. I don't know how to really break it down. Like, I, I'm expecting a lot from U of Florida here now. Just from what I saw scoreline-wise, looking at the bracket, looking at some of the teams they have taken down, uh, University of Florida is looking good. I don't think this one should be any kind of walk in the park for Saints Green. This one is definitely going to be a challenge. And honestly, prediction-wise, U of Florida might take it. Like, like, realistically, if they did what they just did to McGill, they are bringing their A game. They are playing solid today. So, very excited to see how this one's going to come through. This one is going to be an absolutely battle. Yeah, I'm excited to see this. Honestly, my prediction, I, I think it's going to be, unfortunately, if you're a Saints fan, I think it's going to be... Um, 2 one or 2-0. Three. Yeah. No, 3-0. Oh, 3, I forgot we were in best of five. 3-2. 3-2. Best of five. 3-2. Yeah, I think I mean, we will see that game five. I would not be surprised if we see a game five. We'll not be surprised even if we see game four, right? So we might actually be dropping our first game here in this one or, you know, <laughs> we're not Who knows? dropping Anything our first happen. whatever. So we'll see what happens. Anything can happen. So we'll get this one started here in just a couple minutes as all of our players are getting lobbied up here against the University of Florida. And in the meantime, we do have the St. Clair Saints gold roster and they are going to be playing against Rutgers Scarlet here now once again in quarterfinals. And that is going to be the best of five as well. We have seen Three demos in the first 12 seconds. Yeah, I do. But I don't have the bracket, but I, I thought they beat. I could have swore they beat. Them. Maybe not. But again, we are kicking off this game, trying to. I think Saints, uh, with the way that we've seen um, Florida, I think if you're the Saints, you nothing fancy this game. Oh, 100%. you just want to play. You just want to grind. You might have to put in the grit. Yeah, you, you might have to put in that grind. You might have to put in the grind. And that's the start you're looking for. Fusion will connect onto the back of the net there. That is going to open us up for St. Clair. Just 30 seconds and seconds in. Roman going to deke out the defenders. And Fusion will hammer it through. That's going to be a one nothing start. That is exactly how you want it. You know, get that lead. But it's only a one goal lead. So if you're Saints, you're looking right away for a... A little bit hey, one goal is one goal, man. I'll take that I'm one goal lead all day right now. So, yeah, it is going to be exactly what you're saying, though, right? Yeah, if you're Sinclair, you're not going to slow down by any means. This is there. You're still hammering uh, in the offensive pressure. There's another shot from Roman. Going to be deep. Big defense from Strawberry. Going to come through. And Strawberry is actually looking to put this one and out into an offensive play. It is sent over towards the Sinclair Saints green zone. Now looking to turn this one around as Fusion dribbling it towards midfield. Yeah, the defense didn't let him get past midfield there. And... That's going to be a shot on goal and almost it's going to wow. be a floater right there in front of the net. But Raman with the save, kick it out to the corner and, you know, try, try to get it out of the zone as Fusion grabs a fall, trying to get something started. Missed a hit there, but I think um, they, they're going to have a little bit of opportunity here. Oh. Raman's going to get it off the crossbar. And that is just sneaking. On the line. It's laying on the and line. A big no save one. by Jay. Oh, my goodness. You were really hoping that St. Clair was able to put that one through. Those are always heartbreakers. If St. Clair loses this one by one goal, you know that one is going to be in the back of their mind. But they are going to immediately take it for another offensive play as Rawman comes diving in. Fusion will follow it up with a rebounded shot here. Kamal dropping it down from the aerial position and he'll hit it off the board. That's a second for the Saints and a 2 to nothing lead using the, bath the backboard, not the backboard, the backboard. Backboard as their fourth player, using the backboard as their teammate. That is exactly what St. Clair needed. They're going to be leading here now over the side of University of Florida. This is exactly the start they were looking for. Yeah, what a, a nice setup there by Fusion. Even though it wasn't a hard one, it just a little floater over the oh. net. And then he got a nice double touch from, as we say that, wow. Jay answers back. And it's a one-goal game all of a sudden. And, I mean, those kickoff goals, that, that, 
Gotta hurt a little bit. That was beautiful. He just had a beautiful opening to the shot. Fusion tried to play it high from the board. Wasn't able to go. The ball was a little bit too fast for him there. Drops down. Jay's able to clean it up. Finds the back of the net for the University of Florida. And now we have ourselves once again a one to goal game here. Only two minutes in. There's still lots of time on the clock for both of these teams to make some sort of an impact. We'll see how it goes regardless. It is now going to be Kamal and Fusion trying to play this one off of the opposing zone. And that's Rawman trying to come in. But I don't think that the communication was really on par there. Yeah, I think he, it was either communication or he just mistimed it. Oh. But that's going to be a shot on goal. Open. Oh, I thought it was open, but Strawberry's there to make a save, and that's going to be another shot on goal. Top shelf, Roman. Roman put it top shelf. Yeah, beautiful play from Ramen there. This is rebounds is what St. Clair needs, right? I mean, rebounds is literally how you're finding 80% of your goals in Rocket League half the time sometimes. So you see Ramen play it off the car from University of Florida. They will find the goal there, and it will allow St. Clair to regain that two-goal advantage they had just moments ago. Yeah, and I mean, this is what you want. This, I mean, huh. if you're Saints, this is what you want, and they're going to have a little bit of an opportunity here, but they're going to... Jay's yes. going to redirect that. That's going to be a shot on net, but Raman with the save and the offensive pressure here from Florida is almost good. And that's going to be back. Fusion trying to get something, make a save and kick it off to the corner. They got to yes, clear sir. this and uh, try to figure something out. But if you're University of Florida, you definitely want to score a goal within the next uh, 30 seconds, I would say. Yeah, you definitely want to want to find something here in the next you know minute or so for sure to at least you know find, kind of put yourself closer to that Saints score line. Uh, however, at the same time, though, it's looking not too easy. Strawberry will come through the shot, but Fusion with an even bigger save. This is going to be centered for Jay. Jay's going to come in hot and ready, but no, Ramen denying that play. Kamal and Ramen now translating it onto the offense. They're trying to make a play. Fusion could come diving in hot and ready. There he comes flying through. Fusion now playing it off of the corner, trying to center it up for his teammates, but Strawberry will take possession. Ramen going for a little bit of a dive, but that's actually going to be Kamal off the board, and that one should go good. That's Kamal finding the fourth for Sakely. University of Florida is now trailing by a deficit of three. This could be a problem. Yeah, I mean, you got a minute 30 left in the game. That's definitely, definitely going to be tough to make a comeback. You, you got to find one every 30 seconds. Yeah, you have to score probably within that minute mark, with before that minute mark. For here. sure. So um, it's definitely going to be tough, but St. Clair well, bringing in the tough guns this game and not letting them, the defense has been stout. So when I was looking at the score lines from, you know, University of Florida taking down McGill there, I saw 4-0, 4-1. I was like, okay, this University of Florida squad looks lethal here right now. But St. Clair has been playing dominantly so far all the way through in this game one of our best of five now. Uh, and honestly, no complaints all around. They are definitely bringing their A game. They are playing it well. The communication might not be perfect here right now, but they are definitely working a little bit better. And the chemistry, you can see, is slowly rising. Yeah, and I mean, with Raman and Kamal, and then you add Fusion, who I don't know how much they've actually played together. Yeah. This squad actually looks well, extremely dangerous. We do know Kamal played last year yeah. with Fusion. So, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. first semester last year. So, like, way back then, uh, Fusion and Kamal actually doing some chemistry from a while ago. But Jay will get a roller as that one finds its way into the net as well. Right from half field there, he's going to connect on that play. Hits it once again with his tire. <laughs> and that is what kind of messes up Rawman's defense there, right? Is it the last little touch, the last little redirect from the side of University of Florida there. Now St. Clair Green, yes, they will still be leading by two. Uh, 35 seconds on the clock, though. I still say St. Clair's in a very good position. Um, but that's exactly what University of Florida needed to try to make an attempt to come back here. Yeah, goal every 15 seconds or 12 seconds now. And, I mean, it's, it's going to be tough. And Saints oh. are just lining up the shots one after another. And University of Florida, I think you just, you know, you take the momentum from scoring that last goal. And uh, as I say that, Kamal <laughs> That was so clean. The dribbles. Look at this. Okay, Kamal takes it, flicks it right over Strawberry's head. Strawberry is lost in the sauce here right now. Practically jam. And that is going to be Kamal just making that play work to his liking. That's going to be St. Clair Green now taking their three goal adventures. Only 12 seconds on the clock. That's going to wrap up game one. Yeah, and I mean, what I was saying, what I was attempting to say, Caster's Curse, um is uh, I think you take University of Florida, I think you take that last goal with a little bit of momentum and you go into game number two. Uh, you don't want to drop game number two against the Saints. It, it's not good as you I can't. see that that's a shot on goal, but Kamal with a big save. And the ball just needs to hit the ground, but is that going to go in? 
Just <laughs> shy. That was going to go in with the double tap. Yeah, for sure it was. So that is going to be St. Clair leading now 1-0 in this game. Just as you were saying, though, I completely agree. If you're from the side of University of Florida right now, this second game is almost a must. You cannot allow yourself to be going down 2-0 in the series. St. Clair would absolutely just punish that. And uh, so we'll see what happens here as everybody does a lobby back up here. Now for the next one, and it is going to be our best of five, right? So, you know, uh, another win here. Does it end it? But if you are St. Clair and you take a 2-0 advantage, it forces University of Florida to have to reverse sweep you. Yeah, and I mean, reverse sweeping against a team, like these are two top tier teams. Yeah, right? I think the reverse sweep against these is just, that's going to be brutally hard. Yeah, the odds are extremely stacked up against you. So we'll see what happens. Uh, if you're St. Clair, though, I think the big thing here is just once again trying to find an early goal and play off it. They've been doing it all day long. It's been working out well. If they can just find some early aggression and make it work out for the remainder of the game. That is exactly what they should be doing here. But it is right now for the side of University of Florida finding the first as Strawberry will force that one into the back of the net. A nice assist there from Jay as you see this one. Jay going to center that one through. Off the backboard, Strawberry and Co. are going to come in, knock that one down. And that's going to be University of Florida taking their first lead of the series. Yeah, and that's huge. I think if you're University of Florida and with a just shy of the, I thought that was on net there. That would have been huge on a kickoff goal. Um, but I think if you're University of Florida, I, I think you want to be in this position with the lead. You want to see how you play when you have the lead, when you're defending the lead. So uh, I think it's a different game style. Yeah, I also think the Saints, when they are down in games, they get very frantic. They get very hectic. And, uh, you know, it starts to maybe mess up their play call a little bit. If you're St. Clair right now, the big thing is to stay calm, cool, and collected. Keep playing your game that you know how to play and uh, just do your thing here essentially right now. So regardless, we're about a minute and 10 seconds into this one. Not a lot of time has passed as of yet, but St. Clair... Time is definitely ticking, so you got to find something here regardless sooner than later, and we'll see how this one goes. Yeah, that's going to be a shot. Oh, just, just wide of the net there. I thought it was a little bit better shot. Jay coming in for the 50-50. Kind of, you know, that's about 50-50. Went directly off to the wall, but that's going to be Fusion, or Kamal, my bad, with the save. And the offensive pressure here from University of Florida is absolutely yeah, it, right it's now. been incredible, right? It's a complete turnaround from what we saw in our last game. So Kamal will flick it over Exekite, though. Ex well, Exekite. And it is now going to be sent over towards this University of Florida zone as Kamal is trying to play this one off midfield, potentially centering to Raman. There's the passing play. Going to go off the backboard, though, and not going to go through. Fusion once again going to try for attempt number two here now. But that is going to be Jay getting the boost and just taking this one away. Going in for an aerial play, and that's going to go bar down. No, not going to go into the net. There is still Strawberry here looking to play off a rebound as well. So St. Clair going to have to clear this one. Yeah, I mean close another shot on goal not enough power and the offensive pressure they've been university of florida has been playing their rocket league their game as i say that wow wow fusion almost almost had the right read there but and every time quite. They go back on the defense. They're playing their defense and executing it very, very well. Uh, you see here, once again, they know when to rotate. They're knowing when to play. University of Florida has definitely stepped up their game over that short little break we just had in between game one and two here now. St. Clair, it's been over half the clock burned off already. Still only a one-goal game as Kamal trying to take it over some defenders. Fusion is here to follow it up with a play of his own. That's going to be a little bit too high for him to play off of. Now, Raman looking to get it ready in the corner to try to play off this, but it's all up to Kamal. If Kamal can't stop this one here, we could have some problems, but Kamal will interrupt that play and is now looking to hold this one down but I mean hey St. Clair Green they gotta find something here soon yeah they definitely have to they find themselves in a position they haven't found <gasps> themselves in today Fusion's gonna get a shot on goal oh. but a big save bear by Strawberry and well, like I was saying they haven't been in this position down by one this late in the game so I mean yeah coming down to uh, 90 seconds left and I mean you have to get the ball and get more shots on net. You go from 11 shots last game to, I'm not, I'm not sure how well, many, but it's I believe it is significant. The aggression is there from St. Clair right now. Like, they are still finding shots on net. It's just not working out perfectly. Like, just so close to another opportunity there, but just barely going to touch the side of the car, and it's going to mess up that play once again. So St. Clair is just trying to find an answer. That is going to be a little bit of a miscommunication there on the defensive side of things. So it is going to result in Kamal forcing the reset and now trying to just come in hot and ready with an aerial play. But Jay and Essekai are quick there to stop that from coming through. Raman in the midfield trying to play off it, but we only have 
a minute on the clock here. Now St. Clair still trailing by one. Fusion trying to come in nice and hot here now. But once again, not going to go. There's always a defender for University of Florida waiting. That's off the crossbar. That's getting tapped through. Not enough. Fusion trying to follow up with one as well. The shots are there, but it's not going to come through. Kamal keeping the play alive. Yeah, they got so many shots there. Good quality shots in the defense. Just, you know, brick wall and net. And this is just wasting time getting the ball out of your end. I think this is what University of Florida needed. And, I mean, it's only one goal. So, as long as the ball's on the ground, as I that's say it. that, that, that Strawberry's going to score and give University of Florida 2-0 lead. I think that's going to do it there. Uh, you know, there's still lots of time for St. Clair St. Green to try to make a comeback here in this one. But from what I've seen so far, it's going to be very difficult to try to come back in this game too. It's looking like University of Florida is in a good position to tie up the series at one to one here now. And uh, this is anybody's series today. St. Clair St. Green, though, that one is just so devastating to two oh, fall. Just that's going to be Jay. That's the cherry on top. That's going to wrap it up here for this one, I could already say. Uh, St. Clair not going to be able to probably find three in the next 24 seconds. Definitely possible, but uh, you're going to have to find a goal every eight seconds if that's the case. You're going to have to find three kickoff goals essentially almost. So. St. Clair in a tough spot here, but they are going to be probably looking to answer back in this game number three. It's just really tough, right? Because they had such so many good opportunities, so many good shots. The defense from University of Florida was so strong and just not allowing St. Clair Saints to find anything uh, towards that back of the net there. So now as we do have only 10 seconds remaining, the time is ticking down and we should be seeing a 1-1 series. Yeah, I'm thinking, yeah, we should be seeing. I mean, there's seven seconds, so it's nearly impossible to get three goals in uh, that amount of time and Florida's going to tie this up, and, you know, that's huge for Florida. I think um, this is a whole new game. Now it's a best of three. Yeah, this is essentially one from, you know, the best of five we were talking about now to that best of three is uh, who's going to win the first two, right? That's a big question here right now. Uh, it is going to be St. Clair. They did find the first, but University of Florida answering back quickly. Only a one-goal game, though the defense was there from both sides. Uh, just one sneaking in on the side of St. Clair. Or, sorry, I think they actually ended up scoring two there at the end. But, yeah. yeah. So, regardless, it was very close-scoring game. Very low-scoring game, at least until the last minute or so. So, here we are getting underway. Game number three, St. Clair looking to answer back. Yeah, I think, um, again, I think it's critical to uh, get that opening goal. So whoever, well, as of right now, whoever scores that opening goal has won the game. So maybe that's um, just a playing style. It changes your mentality when you don't have the lead. So uh, I think it's uh, crucial for whoever, whatever team, to uh, get that early lead. Yeah, I could not agree more with you, right? I mean, that early lead definitely helps your confidence going into the remainder of things. That's Jay finding the first one from the University of Florida. He's been a highlight player all game long and continues to do so. Backboard off the side of the net. Jay going to have such a good angle on that play. Not able to get defended off there from Fusion. And it's going to result in the University of Florida once again finding an early goal to provide them an early advantage in the game. Yeah, and I mean, if you're Florida, you've seen how they played when having the lead last game so I think they just continue the same thing I mean St. Clair's green they put on the pressure in the offensive zone but the defense just was uh outplayed them yeah, it, it's looking really solid here from the side of St. Clair. So, I mean, they're just going to keep up the pressure here right now, and it will all work out well here for them. And, I mean, uh, currently only a minute has passed, so St. Clair has lots of time to work with here in the remainder of this one to try to find the back of the net. And, uh, I mean, uh, currently it's just not going for them right now. The offensive plays aren't translating like they were in Game 1. they got to find something here. And this is going to be Fusion coming in hot and ready, but the defense from University of Florida has been so strong. Yeah, I do think that and that's going to be an open net. I think that's goal. Yeah, Strawberry's going to wow. clear the ball and get it on net. And, you know, 2 0 lead this early on in the game. From that's your own company. crease yep. is Strawberry just sniping. And that's what happens when you execute here, like the side of University of Florida, right? I mean, St. Clair had nobody on their defense. All three were trying to go in, play aggressive. That's what happens when St. Clair is down by a goal. They start to get a little bit too aggressive. It allows those, you know, clears to come through and potentially find goals. So now St. Clair trailing by two. They have to find something, and they have to find something fairly soon. Yeah, and that's going to be another shot on goal. It's going to be cleaned up oh. by Jay, but it's just going to be a little bit wide as uh, Saints get lucky to be only still down by two. They have to find one uh, here probably fairly quick. Yeah, the Saints are kind of lucky, but to be fair, University of Florida had one yeah. really close one that was just rolling on the line for quite some time themselves, so fairly even all around. That's going to be two demos, Jay and Essekite 
both going to find those, and it is all up to Fusion here now, just trying to do whatever he can. But, I mean, it's not going to be easy here, right? It's now all left on to the side of University of Florida. Good demos, though, all around. And St. Clair, this is your perfect time to turn it into an offensive play. Yeah, turn it into an offensive play. Try to get something started. You need to score at least one goal here. And it's extremely tough against a defense like this, like University of Florida. So that can, oh, okay, I was going to say, that looked like it was on target, but. Um, Not going to go, though. So here we are. It is. Okay, so a little bit of an update over towards the other side of the bracket. Your St. Clair Saints have found themselves a 3-0 win over Toledo, I believe is what I just heard correct. So, yeah, your St. Clair Saints are over to semis, but here right now, University of Florida is starting to heat up. Oh, yeah. I That's going to be a third strawberry. Yeah. Strawberry's been uh, honestly probably one of the highlight players here from University of Florida so far. Finding constant goals, finding constant shot opportunities, and even then finding him on the defense as well, making those big plays on the other side of the field. Has been so phenomenal play here from the side of UF, and they're just keeping the pedal to the metal here right now. Saints Green does not have an answer. I mean, if Saints Green wins this one, though, they do get to play their teammates. So, like, I, I want Saints Green. Let's go heat him up, boys. Let's go see what can happen. But yeah, I mean, right now, St. Clair, they have two minutes to work with. They're going to need to find something, like, desperately here in the next 30 seconds. Yeah, they definitely need to find something. I mean, it, it's tough when you go up against a team like this and you can't answer. I mean, they got shut out last game, and it's on the verge of being shut out this game. And it's just not – if you're from the Saints, it's not what you want. But, the, I mean, University of Florida all around has been outstanding. I cannot agree more with you here now. So – SK going to be still playing off this one. And I mean, just keeping the pressure on Strawberry here as well. That's a good rebound shot. And that's going to dribble. And Strawberry will find a hat trick. And that's going to be now a 4 nothing game. University of Florida, like I just said, even after the last school, they are starting to heat up. They are finding their rhythm and groove here now. It's getting things extremely difficult for St. Clair. It's looking like University of Florida is ready to clean up game number two. Yeah, three, I sorry. think it's going to... They're trying to clean up game number two and force it to a match point. I do believe it would be a match point. So, um, I, I mean, if you're St. Clair, you got to – I think you have to score one or, or it's not going to look good going into game number four. Yeah, you got to find some sort of momentum for yourself, some sort of confidence here to just to sustain yourselves even if you don't wow. find the win. But that is so close. That was almost a pinch that resulted there in a goal, and it does. Come on. We'll find that one. Exactly what you were saying. Needing something to just find some sort of momentum. That pinch is going to shoot way over to the other side, and it's just going to be Kamal able to clean that one up over Essekite there. St. Clair, St. Screen, they definitely do find one on the board here now, but is that enough? The, I mean... Three it's, goals in a minute. It's, it's possible. It's, it's One or twenty seconds. Yeah, you got. It's going to be extremely tough, though. You got. You're at a point where you have to score. You have to beat out their defense. I think they get. A, they should go a little bit gritty here, and um, you know, go for the demos. Go for those plays that. Oh, that's it. That's it right plays, there. But is that on net? I think it's a little wide. It is a little oh, wide. Oh my goodness! Off the post and unfortunate for St. Clair. Can't get that going for them. That could have As changed everything. 100% it could have. That would have changed the outcome. Maybe. You have a little bit of more momentum. You know, down by two. With 30, that would have been 30 seconds left, and that's just a little salt Yeah, that's going to be a pinch from Jay, and that is the salt on the wound that you were talking about. It is now going to be 5-1 to one here, as UF has just kept the pedal to the metal ever since they found their first goal early on in this one. They have just been non-stop since. University of Florida keeping the pressure on. Yeah, I mean, this is how you got to play. If you want to be in this top top teams, you have to see this. And we'll see, depending what happens next game, we'll see what... Because um, these guys, the winner of this goes on to play St. School. Yeah, exactly, so right? So maybe we'll, we'll see a different outcome or we'll see the same outcome. Yeah, if, winning. <laughs> if you're University of Florida here, though, and you actually do come away with a series win here, it's going to be like, oh, great. What, went from one Saints roster to the next? Like, all right. <laughs> so here we are. Yeah, University of Florida is still going to be maintaining their lead. That is going to wrap up game number yep. three. Let's be real here. It is going to now be a two-to-one series in favor of University of Florida. 
Now, here we are, just getting ready for our best of five. And now, was this still best of three? Because nope, all these players said GG. All these players said GG. So that's why I'm wondering here. Yeah. So uh, that's why I'm a little bit concerned. But we'll see what happened. From our players, we heard that it was best of five. Yep. So I want to make sure it is all still the same. But regardless, I think we are still all good here. Everyone is readying up. We are still good with the best of five. They're saying GG after every map. But yeah, so here we are. It is going to be now St. Clair just still trying to keep things going. Yeah, they have to win this. You're in a position here where... It's must win. To, it's, it's must, must win, win or drop to lowers. Yeah, right? it's it. Pick one or the other, and I'm really assuming... Saints Green's used to being in lowers. Like, I'm going to be honest here. CRL qualifiers all last season, you know, they make it into this kind of phase where it's like third, fourth round. You start playing those top teams, and then they fall to losers. But they always make a big impact in losers. And that is why I feel so bad for Saints Green sometimes. Sometimes they're sitting there playing 20, 25 games last season, you know, in one day. So they're just trying to stay in winners here to not allow that to come through. Yeah, and I mean, it's going to be interesting if... If you have Florida moving on and versus Saints Gold and Saints Gold sent them down, they're going to be playing. I think we'd have to look at the bracket after this game. They won't we'll, be playing we'll, Saints Green, no. They, oh, they, they, they wouldn't. They spread them apart and oh, stuff, okay. yeah. So, no, they won't be playing Saints Green again, and at least until deep into deep, lowers. Yeah, deeper into um, lowers. But here we are, yeah. Game like this is this is the biggest game, right, for St. Clair so far in this tournament. Yep. It's essentially yes. If you want to stay in winners, you got to win the next two games. So here we go. It is going to be Jay and Strawberry though from the side of University of Florida, who've just been outstanding lately, finding constant goals, finding constant saves, and making these big plays that change the game. Now here we are, game number four. Saints going to need to find this one. Yeah, they're definitely going to want to open up the scoring as it's been so far. You score first, you win. So. Uh, that first goal is going to set the momentum, set the pace of this game. And, I mean, right, right off the bat, University of Florida is looking, looking for that. That's exactly what they are looking for. It is going to be Kamal trying to send this one from hot and ready from the aerial position. Not going to go. It is quickly going to be Raman following up with a rebound play. But once again, it's not going to follow up with a goal. And it's uh, some good shots. Uh, that's one thing I really want to point out. St. Clair, it does, just because they lost, it doesn't mean they haven't had a few good shots. They have had a crazy amount of good shots. It's just the defense from University of Florida has been brick walled. Yeah, and that's like how many shots? Like the first game, they had 11 shots. The second game you go in and you have 10 shots still and no goals. The yeah. defense has been outstanding for University of Florida. And defense wins games. I mean, if you can continue this, putting up the offense and having that stud of a defense, I mean, there's nothing to look down towards. You have a great team all together. Exactly. This should be an opportunity for St. Clair. The fusion will open us up. That's going to provide them a one to nothing advantage. That is exactly what St. Clair needed to start them off. Find this early lead. Now play off it. We've seen all day long so far. St. Clair has been doing much better playing off of these small advantages rather than playing from behind. So let's try to see if this will affect their confidence, if it will affect their gameplay and see if they can, you know, maintain this and keep the pressure on like they have been. Uh, if they win this one, they can force a game five and then essentially pass the one at that point so here we are it is still going to be very very close though as St. Clair finding more and more pressure that's a centered ball but nobody there to, to send that one through yeah I mean that's going to be uh, directed out of the zone into Saints territory and I, I think the I mean the way that University have been playing they have time that they can score throughout the game we've seen it Saints they they're having a rough time scoring goals so I think they have to their defense has to be well, ridiculously good. Yeah, the Saints defense is just not as strong as the University of Florida defense, but I believe that St. Clair is like just as strong all around easily. Yeah. So uh, that's the problem here right now. St. Clair might be stronger offensively, but the University of Florida is stronger defensively, so it just creates a lot of problems. But that's going to be an aggressive shot, a fast shot from the University of Florida connecting off the post. Saints got lucky on that play. Yeah, that's going to be a center diffusion. Woo! Oh, and a big save there by Strawberry. And Man, that could be a game changer. Well, like I said plenty of times, and like you said plenty of times, game changing saves, shots, anything, it can it change, change yeah. the outcome. Especially in Rock League, right? Rock League is so momentum based of a game that uh, it's, it's it talked about it more than any other title here. So here we are trying to continue things on as its ball is bouncing towards midfield, battling from between both teams. Still a one goal game, just over two minutes remain on the clock. Kamal is gonna be the one currently dribbling it, but sent over to Fusion. And this is actually now turned into an offensive play for the sign of University of Florida, but Raman quickly setting it back over to their side. Yeah, I think it's been a back and forth game since the last first goal of this game. So both teams had their opportunities. Both teams, you know, played great defense. So. I mean, it's going to be a little mistake that's going to either sure. give them a cushion or tie this game. 
Yeah, it's gonna be... Yeah, I completely agree. It's gonna be a little mistake from University of Florida that allows St. Clair to tie this game, or a little mistake from St. Clair that allows University of Florida to tie this one up. So, regardless, uh, it's gonna be mistakes that come through and actually allow goals, because otherwise, both these teams play perfectly. So, here we are. And it's gonna be Jay and Raman battling for that ball. It is resulting in going over to Strawberry, but Fusion is quick there on the defense to try to come off with a clear. Exekite, though, is here and playing for it midfield, and that's once again sent over to St. Clair's zone. I mean, University of Florida, I think, has more time of possession. Yeah, I, I do believe that, but the good thing is that the Saints are not letting them get it out front as much as they used to. If you go back and look at VODs from like last year, last semester, you can see on how often they let the ball go into the front, towards the front of the net. Yeah. And they've kept that away. They kept it in the corners, so I really think that's helped out the game plan. And uh, Florida needs something here to go in to tie this game, but well, almost a direction a redirect there by Kamal. But yeah, that was enough. so close there. It was just about an inch away from his car from being able to pull off that redirect. But regardless, 40 seconds, and this one goal lead that was found by Fusion is still being maintained. Which Robin there with a huge demolition. Any time that you can burn off the clock if you're St. Clair here now, you do so. I think now this is where St. Clair starts to realize, hey, playing off a one goal lead right now doesn't seem like a crazy idea because there is only 25 seconds on the clock. You know, don't double commit. Don't do any and just, you know, play that one player offense, play two defense, and do whatever you can. St. Clair is so, so close to forcing a game five here. They just got to play mistakeless for the next 15 seconds. Yeah, mistakeless, it's it's tough. You got a lot of pressure because you think, oh, it's only 15 seconds, but it's 15 seconds plus how many, however time the ball is up in the air. So, again, yeah, that's where it's, it's stressful. Be, yeah, and that's where it's stressful because you just want to get the ball to touch the ground, but without letting it go in your net. And that's going to be off the post. Oh. The ball is still up in the air. Fusion's just like, no, stay on your side. And no, that one will touch the ground. Jay was very close to connecting on that ball there. But 2-2. Two, two. Here we are. It's going to be St. Clair University of Florida having an absolute battle here, forcing a game five to go play Saints goal. That does not get better than this. This is why I love CRL quality Sundays. I have been looking forward to this for months. And we are back here now with some more CRL quality Sundays. So, so exciting. Like St. Clair versus University of Florida to play St. Clair. <laughs> like, it's, it's so exciting stuff to see. But here we are. Uh, St. Clair, one goal game once again. Uh, we saw it in game two. We see it again in game four. And I would not be surprised if we see another one in game five yeah it's gonna be like i mean my prediction was florida in five yeah my I, prediction was florida in five but right now it's anybody's game yeah oh yeah it, like, it, like the sure. momentum that saints have the saints green squad has going into this game five is a lot even though they've only scored one goal it's still one goal win yeah, uh, one doesn't matter, right? A win's a win here exactly. at this point in time in the tournament. So uh, we are just waiting for these players to ready up before we hop on our way. Just come all probably, you know, getting a quick drink or using the washroom real quick, yeah. whatever it may be. These players do have to go back to back to back to back to back to back a lot of time <laughs> yeah. without any break. So yeah, they just yeah. try to take whatever, you know, any few seconds they can do, you know, do whatever they need to do. But here we are getting started. Game number five all comes down to this. Winner goes to winner. Semis loser drops the lower round Four, five, one of the Four. two. Five, five, five. five. Lower round five. That's what I thought. Okay, so yeah, lower goes on a lower round five. Winner goes to winner semis. A lot of the line here to Strawberry looking to open us up with an early goal, but no, Fusion will be there for the defense. Yeah, if you go from making a save to an offensive pressure, nobody's there to put that one away. But again, right back in the zone. I think they're going to follow up with that. Going to get a few shots oh. on goal here. The pressure from Saints right now has been... Yeah, they, they and, committed a lot to that play. Yeah, that's a good thing they didn't uh, miss the ball at any point because that could have been a breakaway for Florida. Indeed. Strawberry will intercept that one over towards midfield. Uh, Kamal and Fusion currently playing around with that one in the corner, but it is going to be Kamal actually end up getting down on it. Strawberry going to get the pinch and finds bottom corner. Oh my goodness. Let me get a replay of this. Kamal sends it down. We'll get demoed. Essekite will send it right over to Strawberry. Strawberry is boosted in the air, just going so fast. Comes off his car at 100 plus kilometers an hour. Finds the bottom corner, just sneaks through. Uh, I mean, honestly, can't even blame Sinclair for that one. Fast shot, good play, and a really tough spot to defend. Oh, absolutely. That was a gorgeous shot, and you can't get anywhere. If you're going to put it somewhere on the net, bottom corner is probably the best spot. Yeah, bottom corners, top corners, those are going to be your best bets here. Uh, bar down, you know, 
off the backboard and in, whatever it may be, those are your best bets to find these ones. But it's now St. Clair playing from down a goal here. Last time they were in this position, it didn't work out too, too well for them. They got to turn things around. They got to break the ice and see what they can do. It is going to be a couple shots sent over towards the net. It is going to be Raman dribbling this one right over towards the outside, but it's quick for Strawberry to receive that one. Send it through. I don't know. There's not a lot of defense here. It's only Fusion, and that's on the goalpost, but sent away from Gabal, keeping the side of St. Clair alive. So now officially both teams have had the ball oh, on the goal line. Like, oh my goodness. <laughs> it's just unbelievable. Uh, you think, oh, just one one player, but, you know, b miss rotation or who knows, trying to rotate back to get on defense. and It's a lot harder than it looks. Yeah, absolutely. This game is... It, they make it look easy and it's honestly rocket league is one of those games where they definitely do make it look a little bit easier and then you actually pick up a controller and you're like man i'm trash at this <laughs> <laughs> so here we are it is now still this one nothing game from university of florida we still have over half the game remaining so that is a good sign if you are st Clair, you just can't let the side of uf find anything else here right now and you have to find some sort of an answer back yourself much easier said than done though as that's another one through for strawberry just been so good all day long never heard of the strawberry guy and until today and he's just been going crazy yeah and you know what the way they've been playing yeah i'm so we i was probably expecting this when they beat mcgill 2-0 yeah well, <laughs> i mean we i was surprised when i saw them beat mcgill 2-0 i thought mcgill was one of the stronger teams in our pool yeah here for today but no it, it doesn't seem to be the case st Clair now trailing by two this is uh, you know kind of like towards the larger side they've been trailing by all day long because we just had such close games. Strawberry definitely giving St. Clair problems right now. Absolutely. And I mean, right now they oh, just take need the goalie something. Out. Take the goalie out. Try to get some start. It's going to be right in front of the net, but Jay makes an easy save and, you know, tries to clear it. But the offensive pressure from Saints going to try and get some start. Yeah, it's heating start. up. They're definitely applying a lot more pressure onto the net than they were in uh, the, you know, the previous few minutes or so in this game number five. So you can definitely see how the scoreline is changing, how Saints are trying to play this one out. It is going to be Raman going quick in for a dive. So is Fusion, but they both miss. All left onto Kamal here now, and Kamal's all alone in his net. It will get sent through his net, but he is going to be quick there for a clear to come through. Now it's going to be sent into the corner. St. Clair, they have to find a goal in the next like minute or so if they do want to have a good shot here to come back in this one. Yeah, it's definitely going to be tough, and I mean, it's like, what, what a phenomenal Ugh. series to begin with, and I mean, it's just back and forth game. Each play, each team has their chances back and forth, and the defense right now has been outstanding. I feel like every time that we see Saints Green, you know, in a position where it's like win out or go to losers, they get so close. They get so, so close, and then it's just not enough. As you see another one dribble in, Strawberry for the Hattie, and that's going to be the UF side. Now up 3 nothing. St. Clair, I think it all started with that first goal from Strawberry, and it just went downhill from there. They they went down one nothing. They saw, like, hey, this is going to be really hard to come back from, and then it, it just took a toll mentally, allowing UF to come through and play this dominant way they have been. Now still leading three to nothing here right now minute 15 on the clock winner going to play st Clair saints gold this is not the site you like to see if you're green right now yep and i believe we are gonna be switching over to that yeah we, 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 will, definitely we will definitely stick with switching. you uh we'll be we'll definitely stick with the winner of this game yeah whoever wins so, this game we stick them with them we'll go and hop over with them in st Clair saints gold and uh that's gonna be a good one over on the winner's side yeah and a nice shot on goal but not enough not close enough and they they need some here i, I think it's I mean, three goals in 45 seconds, 15 seconds a goal. It's possible, but definitely difficult. Yeah, um, the odds are stacked up against you currently if you are St. Clair. Here, game five still in play. I mean, 35 seconds. It's just been so hard to find goals against this brick wall of a defense coming from the side of UF. And uh, St. Clair, I mean, it, it might be wrapping us up here from, you know, needing to get one goal every 15 seconds. Now just needing to get one goal every, like, six seconds or eight seconds. So uh, the things are really starting to turn around. Kamal will be there for a defensive play. But as this time does slowly approach the final 15 seconds, that will wrap us up here now for this one. That is going to be University of Florida taking game number five over your St. Clair Saints green roster and advancing to the winner's semi-finals here now as St. Clair Saints green will drop down to lower round five and I believe that means St. Clair Saints green will be going back to playing best of threes. Yep. Yeah, green will be going back to the best of threes, you know, and it sucks for them because they have a longer distance. 
They yep. have uh, still probably six series. I, I'd have to take a look at the bracket. But yeah, it's like four, five, six series if yeah. they do want to come through here and actually close it out. However, majority of those are going to be best of threes. Uh, and here we are, though. That is going to be beautiful play. St. Clair not able to seal the deal here over U of F. And it results now in them going up to play St. Clair Saints Gold coming up next. So, I mean, I think we've broken it down a lot throughout that game. There's not a crazy much to talk about here now in the post game. We are going to go do some setup on the back end for University of Florida versus St. Clair Saints Gold coming up next in just a few minutes.